Hey, we're up here at Brennan Harbor Resort just outside of Spanish in Ontario on basically the North Channel. It's uh, on the north part of Lake Huron where Georgian Bay and Lake Huron meet. And I've got Rob Hyatt with me. Rob, you and I have known each other for, gosh, 30 some odd years, right? Yeah, that's about right, yeah. And uh, you're from Callender, just outside of North Bay, Lake Nipissing country, but uh, you fished over here a little bit, haven't you, over the years? I've uh, done some fishing uh, over on Manitoulin Island. I've never been on this particular side before, but I have fished up here. I fished here a couple of times, and I'll tell you, I love this area. Uh, that Brennan Harbor Resort are in because there's so many opportunities. You've got, you know, the, the the channel here that's got water that's got a bit of color to it. You get outside on the open water, um, and it's crystal clear and smallmouth bass, walleye, pike, a few largemouth. Uh, um, I'm sure there's muskies. You know, you get way out there, get salmon if you want, mm -hmm. lakers. You're gonna target smallmouth and some pike on some of the, the little islands and rocks and points and uh, shoals out on the on the main body of water. So let's see what happens. Let's get this baby untied and get ready. Can't yeah. wait. Alrighty. Wow. That is a fish of a lifetime. Here we go, boy. Wow, we That thing is a monster. They fight hard, don't they? Look at that magnificent fish. <laughs> the size of that fish. There he is again. The color is incredible. Oh. There we go. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. Big old Great Lake smallmouth. That is a big rainbow trout, Chris. Nice double header. Whoa. <laughs> nice jump. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is a monster smallmouth. Man, that is so cool. Another one. There we go. The biggest pike I've ever caught. Look at that chunk. Well, that's what we're talking about. Real Fishing is sponsored by Mercury, Go Boldly, Berkeley, Catch More Fish, and Abu Garcia for life. On the Real Fishing Show, we make catching fish like this a possibility. What do you got? Oh, smallmouth? I believe it is. All right. I just had a bite two seconds ago, and I think you're just like a vacuum cleaner, Rob. Rob Hyatt, vacuum cleaner extraordinaire, throws in after I miss one, catches him quick. Looks like he's got a bit of a red yeah. sheen to him. Uh -huh. I just got this smallmouth bass on a, a Berkeley spy. Yes, it is bigger than the lure by about an inch, right? Now, you can't tell a book by its cover because um, you know, we're up here at Brennan Harbor Resort. I got Rob Hyatt with me. And Rob, um, we've had a cold front, right? A little bit. We're fishing an area. We decided to come out of the resort and head east about, what, 15 miles. We thought, let's try an area we've never even been to before. You caught a small muscle, a little one that was twice that size a while ago. Yes. I had one follow, and that was it. So the neat thing about today is, and you know, we got about five hours to fish today is we're trying to see if we can find fish in water we've never been to. It's finally sunny now, but it, it's cold. It got cold the last couple of nights, right? Yes, it did. So let's get at it, okay? All right. We're gonna, we're gonna whip them yet. Beautiful looking area. I felt something out there. What do you got? Smallmouth? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Minutes after I catch that little tiny smallmouth, you catch a, a small smallmouth, but it's not, not tiny. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's a start, Robert. It's a start. We are definitely finding out 
where the young ones grow up today, right? That's for sure. The young fellows are on this flat. We have a combination of every type of things you could ever imagine here. We have got rocks, boulders, vegetation, reeds, islands, little shallow shoals in here. I don't think you could ask for anything more for underwater cover for these fish. A gigantic fertile feeder bay behind us here. Open water to that way. Yes, the ingredients are here. Coming up. That's a nice fat largemouth. This is a good population of largemouth. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury. Go boldly. One thing we've learned during underwater filming is how difficult it is to be a fish. Down below, there exists an unforgiving dog-eat-dog -dog world. Even when you think they've reached the top of the food chain, you find out otherwise. As if that weren't enough, factor in diseases, parasites, and birth defects. With all these things working against them, you'd think humans would go a little easier on fish. Sadly, that's not the case. Seems we go out of our way to make things tougher. Barriers to migration, the introduction of invasive species, and illegal fishing practices are just a few of these. As anglers, we've come a long way in recent years. The widespread practice of catch and release is a real saving grace. Even so, it's possible for us to do it one better. The best thing we can do is to always carry proper tools to facilitate hook removal. Having long nose pliers handy will expedite the process and help get those fish back as quickly as possible. When targeting big game, we also need to be kinder to the small fry. It's tough enough down there, and who wants to go through life with half a jaw? Now, watch it come right up and eat it. That was funny. That thing was like a little rocket. And uh, where are the parents though? That's the biggest question is, are the parents deeper? Or are they just not active? And that's one thing about about hunting new water as we're doing today for smallmouth bass is you, you just got to cover water to figure out where they are so I moved a little deeper now we're in about six feet of water eight feet of water right now and we'll just see if they're at the next level well we got a few weeds and we got ourselves a largemouth what the heck I heard there were largemouth up here, and uh, James at Brennan Harbor said there are largemouth bass, a few being caught, so maybe we should get in these reeds and, and target them. Fat little guy, too. Yeah. Aha! A bonus largemouth on the old war pig. Lipless crankbait. <laughs> I wonder if we're onto something. I don't know. I thought it was a smallmouth at first. Now I'm looking at all this vegetation here going, should we be getting into it? Here nice. we go. Got another one going here. What do we got here? Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like another, another largemouth, I think. What's up, what's yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Will we net that? No, it's all right. Okay. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, my God. Oh. Mr. Largemouth again. So, so there is a pop population of largemouth around here. Uh, Robert, what do you think? It's a nice one. Yeah, it is. That's pretty neat. You know, we had heard that they get incidental catches of largemouth, but I wonder though, do they get targeted much? Because we ran in Frank Clark from uh, Sudbury. Can you pass those pliers? Absolutely. And uh, Frank had mentioned that he targets uh, he targets largemouth up here, doesn't he? Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's it's one of those things that, 
it's like in a lot of lakes where you've got, uh, you know, crappies and stuff, um, you'll get uh, a lot of people will say, you know, nobody ever catches them, but nobody's ever really targeting them, right? Yeah. In the case of large ones here, there's actually a lot of pencil reeds and things in the area we're fishing, and and uh, you know, there's probably a large mouth population in here that never sees any lures because they're not getting fish for it. Very cool. That looks like a nice bass. All right. Trying to put the poles down. It's always nice when a plan comes together, isn't it? It is. Yeah, let me get the net. So, you know, we went up that edge of those pencil reeds and I was cranking a, a lipless crankbait and uh, nice. And what happened is, Come oh, on. your bait just fell out. Too. That was nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. And, you know, caught a couple of largemouths on the outside of it. And that's a nice fat largemouth. So there's a good population of largemouth. So, so Rob says, we should take another pass back down there. And I said, well, I got some swim baits. Let's see that bait. That's a the power swimmer. It's a power bait. And that's, you know, one of the fusion weighted uh, belly hooks there. And, and uh, we thought we'd throw these in the pencil reeds, right? Yep. And there we are. Proof in the pudding. Very nice. Good job, Rob. Thank Did you. Did it hit hard? Yeah, you smoked it pretty good. Very nice. The air temperature is colder than the water temperature today, isn't it? I think so. You know, I think it's actually in the 60s right now, so. Okay, I got the power poles down just to lock us in for a few casts. Be nice if there were a couple of bigger ones in here now. Coming up. Oh, I got one here, Rob. <laughs> Hey, I'm here with James Falzone, and he and his wife, Casey, run Brennan Harbor Resort up here in Spanish, Ontario. And James, my second trip here, I had such a great time a few years ago, I had to come back here in the spring catching walleyes. This trip, we're catching a few pike and some really nice bass. How many years you guys been here? This is our 12th season, and it's flown by. We've loved every minute. You guys do such a great job. Now, for guests coming up here, whether they're from Canada, the United States, any part of the world, um, you do the American plan for, for you viewers, that's where the meals are provided, or you do cook your own and you've got cabins here, right? Absolutely, we can, we can take care of whatever you need. You wanna come and take care of your own food, go out fishing on your own time, no problem. You want us to cook your breakfast, lunch, dinner, daily made service, uh, we can do that for you too. And you can bring your own boat as I have, or yep. you can have boats that are available here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool, so there's just so many different things to catch. Uh, here that it's endless. I love this place because every time I'm in this part of uh, the world, I explore, I fish water I've never been to before. Yeah. And I might go, you know, south, east, west, it doesn't matter and you've got so many options. Uh, I'll tell you what, I love this place. Hey, and, uh, we love having you here, thanks Brennan, for coming. Brennan Harbor Resort, you gotta check out uh, these two characters. Uh, well, Casey's actually really nice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he is too. No, oh, I got one here, Rob. <laughs> In the lily pads. Oh, he's not very big, I don't think. Let's see. <laughs> oh, a little large one. No, we don't need that. Ah, a little large mouth up in nice. the pads. So what I did is, I wasn't really expecting to fish large mouth this trap, and so I don't have any like, you know, my normal tungsten uh, bullet weights or anything. But what I got is a little Berkeley uh, shaky head I found here. It's an eight ounce shaky head. And I put a, a uh, power bait general, five and a quarter inch general on there on a shaky head, made it weedless. Did I lose him? I lost him. I lost him. He hit me though. 
Is he still in there, I wonder? And the rig up. This is not what I normally rig to flip, but this little eight ounce shaky head is sort of all I got, so. I'm making it weedless by spinning it around and just sticking it in there. That's what I'm flipping. Aha! Large both on a rock pile. Good stuff. Now, that's funny. That tells you how aggressive the large both are, for instance. You missed that fish a minute ago, right? Twice. Twice? Yeah. And then next cast in, bang. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Nice catch. Yeah. And he thumped it. Now, see, you're using a subtle bait. Um, that power swimmer that you're using, green pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty subtle, you know, that, that bait, like the color and everything. It's mm -hmm. just, I don't know, green pumpkin's gotta be the oddest color, but the most fish catchiness, oddest color going, eh? Small mouth, large mouth? Well, it's working right now. Yeah. That's good. Coming up. What have you got on here? I don't know. The mystery fish. I'm thinking it's a prize. Nice small for that one. Did you see that? Yep. I think I'll that thing. That whoa, that thing did a, a good jump. Whoa, he's down in the reed. Oh, he <laughs> wrapped me up in the pencil reeds. Now he's out. Come on, baby. That thing is fighting hard, man. I've got a pretty heavy rod here, medium heavy velocity too. Which I love it up here because it's endless opportunities of where you can fish. There really is a lot of water to fish up here. There sure it? is. We're in just one little bay of miles and miles of fishable water up here. Oh yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Yes. Oh, a horse that is just fighting so hard. And, uh, and we're just picking away because it really has been a tough fishing conditions the way this weather's been, right? Rob, do you think you could ask for a worse front than we've had for August? It's been very tough, and yes, it's been cold too. It has. Yeah, there he comes. Okay. Not a bad little small one, not bad at all. And that's one of the reasons I love it up here, our smallmouths like this, even though we're fishing in a largemouth area, um, this, uh, this smallmouth is kind of like acting like a largey. All right. You know, that thing there uh, um, hit a, uh, a, a general, power bay general, on this little fusion shaky head here. Rob, come on up here for a picture. We gotta get a picture. Document this. Well, I'll tell you, that, that fish looks like an old fish, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it doesn't look like one of those fat ones you get out on the main lake. It looks like one that might be in the reeds back here. And uh, I think that is just so cool. I love it how you can hold them like this. It sort of pacifies them until you let them in the water. And there he goes. See you later, buddy. All right. That's worthy of putting another five and a quarter inch general on there. This is so cool. I got one swimming. I cast into this beaver dam and, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled it out of its mouth. It was swimming out. Did you see the line? Oh, you got him? You got one. That's a, not a bad one either. Oh. Oh, no. No, and it was a large one. Was it a large one? Yeah. A good one? Yeah, it was decent. Well, look at, there's a beaver house right here. And uh, 
You know what they say, those beaver houses are good bass cover too. What it is. What have you got on here? I don't know. The mystery fish. I'm thinking it's a pike. Is it a pike? Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It is a pike. It's on the Berkeley Spy. Well, I don't want to lose that spy because I've only got a couple of them. So we're going to have to dip this, OK? <laughs> He's going around the boat. <laughs> Good thing is that lure's not engulfed in his mouth. Well, it's on sure. the outside. A little northern. Yeah, I really, I didn't want to pull that lure out. You hold that net. I will grab the pliers here. Turn this handy. You know, here's, here's a good little tool. I love this. This jaw spreader here. It's so cool, so spring-loaded. And we'll just put it right in the fish, put it in there. Pluck that hook out. It's a nice one, it doesn't have the sharp ends. Yeah, that's the cool thing about yeah. it. I, I can put it in your mouth and show the folks how it won't pierce the top of your mouth. <laughs> All right, a little northern. That'd be a good one if you wanted to eat a fish too, yeah, wouldn't it? Wouldn't. But uh, anyway, Put her back in. And uh, you know, folks, one of the cool things about coming up here to, uh, to Brennan Harbor Resort is there is just endless opportunities to fish. You can stay up the mouth of the Spanish River in the area that they're in and fish more of the fertile colored waters. <laughs> Come out on the main lake where the water is clearer. We came east today to try for some smallmouth and uh, as a result, I mean, Rob, we, we, we had to work hard today, didn't we? We worked very hard today. Caught some large mouths, a few small mouths, lots of fun. Yesterday we played, we didn't uh, videotape any, uh, uh, but what a great area. This part of the world, I don't think a lot of the fish really see lures, do you? No. Nope. We've seen one boat all day fishing, right? That's right. And that's it. So what can I say, folks? If you're looking for a place to come, you got to go visit uh, James and Casey, very friendly folks. They run a nice, clean operation, and we'll see you next week right here for some more Real Fishing. Real Fishing was sponsored by Mercury, Go Boldly, Berkeley, Catch More Fish, and Abu Garcia for life. Well, that thing's got some weight to it. <laughs> Size of that puppy right there. <laughs> that, is, that is just wild. Man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look, Look at the size of that thing.